Let's think about a featured image section, some content on the top and the usual image layout. What if we rearrange them and add some scroll effect that gets more attraction. Today we'll create this using the Elementor page builder. So without any further ado, let's get started. Ok, so in this page, you can see I have already created these two sections, so you can see the scroll effect properly. And in between that, here I want to create our main container. So let's create this. And first of all, make it to full width and set a background color. Now inside that, we will take two containers, one for the images and another for the middle content. So let's take our first container and also for this one, make it to full width and remove this padding. So make it to zero. So inside this, we need to create some rows and inside each row, we will place two images. So to create the first row, let's take an another container. And to create the left column, let's take an another container inside that. Make it width to 50%. And inside this, let's take an image widget. Upload an image. And from here, let's set a height. And let's set its height to auto so that it will maintain its aspect ratio. Okay, but this image still gets shrinked. We'll later fix that with our custom code. Okay, here add some border radius to make some rounded corner and also make it a higher z index so that it will be above our middle content okay if we now open our this structure panel we can see here we have a lot of nested containers which also creates so much padding so for our these two containers make their padding to zero now to create our right side image we can just duplicate our this container and here it is just change the image okay but we need to place them in one line so go to this parent container and make its direction to row. Also adjust the gap between them. And here one thing we also need to make sure that for our this left container, we need to make its align items to end and for the right one, make it to start. Otherwise the effect will not work properly. Okay, now we can duplicate our this container and create multiple rows of images. But before duplicating, I always prefer to check the responsiveness. So let's check it for the tablet. And here we need to reduce this image height 300 pixel. Let's go to the mobile. And here we need to reduce it furthermore 200. But this again goes in two lines. So to fix this, let's go to this first container and make its width to 50% and make this wrap to no wrap. And also do the same for this container. And then go to this container and also for this one, make it to no wrap. Let's also reduce the caps. Perfect. Now go back to the desktop. Now let's duplicate this container. For this one, let's change the image. And by following this, we have created all of our these images. And here I also want to mention that this effect is perfectly suitable for six images. If you have more or less than that, that may not look perfect. Okay. So after that, here we also need to take an another container for our middle content. So let's drag this container right above here and drag it down to here. Let's set its width and align items to center. And inside this, let's add an image widget and upload a logo. Also add a paragraph and also a button widget. Let's quickly design them to make them look good. Now to place it at the middle, let's go to this container and make its position to the absolute first and set a Z index, which is lower than these images and adjust its left and right offset. Okay, but here you can see its top left corner start from this position. So to fix this, let's go to this transform option and we need to set both this X and Y offset to minus 50%. Now finally, we need to add some classes. So with our this topmost container, let's add the class mdw scroll effect one for one and some other classes with these following elements. And after that, to add the custom code, let's search for an HTML widget and drag it to here, right above our this container and paste this code snippet. I'll give this code snippet link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that. Okay, now we can see this effect is perfectly working. But here we have a little issue. We can see a large space at the bottom. So to fix this, we need to go to our this container and from the bottom we need to add some negative margin. 
and here i also don't like this cap so let's remove it from here okay now it's working without any issues now it's okay for the desktop let's also check it for the other devices so for the tablet here first we need to reduce the size of this middle content let's quickly do that and i would like to also reduce the negative margin of this container lastly go to the mobile device and here let's make the margin to fully zero and also for this container reduce its width furthermore and let's also place it a little bit more down 50 percent perfect now it's also perfectly working for the mobile devices so that's how we can create this scroll effect on your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video